Hello again everybody, welcome back to your trusted travel guide, We Traveling. This time we're going to see amazing places located in the USA. The United States of America is arguably the number one country in the world. We've all been influenced by one way or another, by its movies, music, people and culture, but the United States also has some of the greatest cities and exciting destinations you will ever see, places that are worth visiting. So as your trusted travel guide, We Traveling will be telling you about 10 of the best places to visit in the US, going through canyons, great cities, and the famous locations that we know and love. Let's dive in! Number 10. Miami Miami is a well-known and popular city in the US. If there's anything that's often associated with Miami, it's the beach, and maybe the bad boys movies. Miami is so much more than just a great place to visit for a great time at the beach. It's a city that highlights the cultural diversity present in the U.S. With the nuanced Cuban vibe in Little Havana, the amazing Everglades National Park, and the Fairchild Tropical Gardens with their amazing wildlife and natural feel. You can also visit the Vizcaya Museum and the Great Mall Amusement Park known as Bayside Marketplace. Still, you can't really talk about Miami without mentioning beaches like the South Beach, Hobby Beach, and well-known Miami Beach on Barrier Island. It's more than a beach. It's a neighborhood with houses and entertainment sites, like the Art Deco District, where you find great exhibitions and buildings from the early 1900s. Miami can get a little expensive once you're there, so unless you have a very large budget, be sure to keep costs in mind. Number 9. Boston There are a lot of historic places in the US, but I would argue that Boston is America's most historic city. There are just so many things that have happened in Boston that are historic. Boston was the first to build a subway in America, they built the first lighthouse, they built the first park, and they even built the first Dunkin' Donuts. That's Boston! Now even though Boston is rich with history and scenic locations, it still has a certain exuberant charm, as it tries to blend the old and the new. Boston is one of the few places in the country where you'll see high-rise skyscrapers next to buildings that have been standing for centuries. What about the great places you can visit? Like most American cities, there is plenty to choose from. Honestly, in a place like Boston, it really depends on what you're into. If you're into sports, you can go see a game in Fenway Park. If you're into art, you can go to the Museum of Fine Arts. You can check out Faneuil Hall and its famous markets. And if you're thrilled by education and schools, then you are really going to love Boston. It has two of the most prestigious universities in America, Harvard and MIT. So if you wonder what those schools are like, well, Boston is where you'll get to know. Number 8. Houston Ever heard of the Space Center? What about the Houston Museum District? Okay, what about the beaches of Galveston? If you think these locations sound amazing, then you're just starting to get a sense of what Houston has to offer. Houston is the fourth biggest city in the US, yet it maintains a somewhat humble charm while consisting of a variety of great destinations to visit and explore. Houston is one size fits all. It's got everything you need for a perfect getaway luxury resorts like the Four Seasons, and fun places for the kids like the Children Museum, and a countless number of cafes and fancy restaurants. So if you're with your partner, you can get a satisfying romantic experience. You can also go for some beach fun at Galveston Beach. But the fun doesn't stop there, because one of the biggest, and if not the most alluring attraction in the whole of Houston is the NASA Johnson Space Center where you'll get to witness the tales and gaze at the monuments that highlight America's triumph in the space sector. It is truly a sight to behold. Number 7. Washington, D.C. Well, we've arrived at the nation's capital, the place where some of the most important and dignified personalities live. There's the president, the senators, and of course, Jeff Bezos. Yet even if all these great people didn't live there, Washington, D.C. still has a lot to offer. Like for example, did you know that DC grows the most apples in the United States? There's so much more to DC than all the powerful persons it holds. There are great places for you to go see like the Natural History Museum and Smithsonian Museum and even the Library of Congress. But you're probably more interested in the popular places like the Lincoln Memorial, the Washington Monument, the National Mall and the Veterans Memorial. All great locations that are absolutely great to see. Of course, we can't forget the main attraction which is the White House. Home of the most powerful man in the world. And there's also the United States Capitol and Capitol Hill, where the laws that govern the country are made. Washington DC is the place to be when you want to see the US in its might and grandeur. Number 6. Las Vegas I'll start by saying this, Vegas gets a bad rap. The movies and mainstream media make you feel like Vegas is the place for gambling and eloping couples, and that there's a high chance that you'll get wasted and wake up with a tiger. 
although that might not be as uncommon as you think. The point is, those casinos and infamous wedding sites are just one section of the city. There's so much more. Las Vegas honestly has some of the best hotels and resorts in the country, and there's always a particular feature that makes these hotels fun to visit. Like the Mirage Hotel, with its erupting volcanoes and amazing light show. The Paris Hotel, with its very own Eiffel Tower. The Venetian Hotel and its gondola rides that make you feel like you're in Venice. Or Caesar's Palace and its amazing structures. Not forgetting places like the Bellagio Resort and all the great features it has to offer. But wait, there's more. For an ethereal experience, you have to visit Fremont Street and check out the incredible lights and bubbling nightlife. The funny thing is, you can access all these great places and more by strolling on what is probably the most famous place on Las Vegas Boulevard, the Las Vegas Strip. Home to many great hotels and the famed casinos you're always hearing about. Las Vegas is also surrounded by some of the greatest locations in the country, one of which is coming up later in this video. Others are the Hoover Dam, Valley of Fire State Park, and even Death Valley National Park. Vegas can be fun even if you don't want to go gambling, but I still feel the need to reiterate the old saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Number 5. Waikiki I've mentioned a few beach destinations on this list and those beaches are absolutely lovely, but if you ask anyone in the United States where they think some of the best beaches are, they're going to tell you Hawaii. But among the many beach resorts in Hawaii, and there are quite a few, one that stands out is Waikiki. Set on the island of Oahu, Honolulu, Waikiki holds the reputation as the world's most famous beach resort. With great destinations like the Diamond Head Crater, where a small settlement is built on an extinct volcano, the Honolulu Zoo, and the Waikiki Aquarium, if you want to see some animals, you can even go on a submarine ride. As there are passengers, submarines that will take you beneath the ocean. But if you don't fancy all that excitement and just want to have a relaxing time, then visit the Golden Sand Beaches in Waikiki. There are a couple to choose from. Some of them extremely hard to pronounce, but they're all perfect for swimming and all sorts of water sport as well as just relaxing time in the beach. There are also a few luxury hotels you can stay in whilst you're there. Number 4. San Francisco It's not the biggest of cities and it doesn't have the biggest streets, yet it's one of the best cities in the US. San Francisco has a lot of spectacular locations to see and visit. It's one of those one-size-fits-all cities that have a little bit of everything. History? Check. Art? Check. Natural locations? Check. Beaches? Check. High-rise buildings and skyscrapers? Check. Mind-blowing infrastructure? Double check. It's almost hard to suggest where to go see first, given how many great locations there are. There's Alcatraz with its sublime historical imitations, there's Fisherman's Wharf and its vibrant nature, the Gold Gate Park, Chinatown, the California Academy of Science, and of course, the beautiful Twin Peaks. There are honestly so many other locations to name, but it'll take another video to get through them all. Though I must say that if you're ever in San Francisco, don't forget to visit the Golden Gate Bridge and ride the cable cars. That's always fun. Number 3. The Grand Canyon If you recall earlier, I mentioned there's a place around Las Vegas that you have to go see if you get the chance. That's the Grand Canyon. It's been a must-see location that people from all over the world have been paying a visit to for decades. Carved about 6 million years ago and a source of awe and wonder, the canyon is the most visited park in the world. And it's no wonder why, just looking at how big it gives you the chills. And when you're there in person, the feeling is even more surreal. So for an unforgettable experience, visit the Grand Canyon. Fair warning, the canyon can get a little crowded during the summer, so you might want to visit during fall or spring when the crowds are less. Number 2. Los Angeles The City of Angels needs no introduction. It is the famed city that is the epicenter of culture in the Western world. Los Angeles is more than a city, it's a haven, a home for some of the most powerful people on earth, celebrities. Los Angeles holds places like Hollywood, the hub of entertainment with its reach going into the far corners of the planet. Hollywood is a must-see for all movie lovers. A tour around the area is always amazing, although it can get a bit crowded. You can also visit the nearby Disneyland, that's always fun. There's also Beverly Hills and Bel Air, where you have the homes of celebrities and other dignitaries. There's also the beach and the La Brotar pits. Before we proceed to number one, I just want to give some honorable mentions that you should consider visiting if you get the chance. There's Disney World in Florida. There's the city of Seattle. There's Santa Fe. 
Aspen, Colorado, New Orleans, Chicago, and just for fun, Cleveland, Ohio. And now for the number one place to visit in the US, New York. It's arguably the most famous city in the world. It's the city that never sleeps, the city that has Broadway, and the city where there's a giant statue of a woman holding a torch. New York is a landmark in so many ways. Architecture, culture, art, music, and so much more. So if you're ever in New York, it's best to use your time wisely during the day. Check out some of the amazing architecture like the Empire State Building, the Rockefeller Plaza, the Chrysler Building, Central Park, and even the Statue of Liberty, although it's on its island. At night, you want to visit Times Square and be greeted by the amazing screens and lights, and for a truly awesome time, visit Broadway, where you'll be privy to the most sublime form of drama and music you have ever seen. Well, that's it for this video. Be sure to let us know what you think about these locations in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And as always, thanks for watching.